Madagascar is an island off the west coast of Africa. On that island, the remaining tropical rainforest is located on the western part. Along the west coast of the island, there are also many swamps and mangroves that give way to deep bays. Moving inland, the central highlands are punctuated by grassy, deforested hills, bordering crop-growing valleys. Madagascar is the fourth largest island in the world. Having developed in isolation, the island's nation is famed for its unique wildlife. In 1896, Madagascar was officially annexed by the French, and in 1960, they gained independence. Madagascar is a semi-presidential, representative, democratic, multi-party republic, meaning that they have a prime minister and a president. Out of 196 countries, this shows the rank that Madagascar is for corruption. Madagascar has a very poor government and is very corrupt, as you can see according to this graph. There are 24 million people in Madagascar. That means that they are in stage 2 in the demographic transition model. The top 3 causes of death are stroke, heart disease, and pneumonia. Madagascar is a periphery country because they have a low life expectancy and don't have very much access to education. They have low carbon emissions and a low GNI, approximately $1,320. They have a high gender inequality index also. Madagascar primarily exports agricultural products, including coffee, vanilla, shellfish, and fiber. It also produces cotton textiles. Madagascar's energy balance shows that about 80% of its overall energy consumption is based on biomass, mainly firewood, charcoal, and other biomasses. 17% is on petrol, 2% is on electricity, and 1% is on coal. Until today, the petroleum products are all imported, even though Madagascar has oil in the place of oil fields and are not being exploited yet. The energy consumption per head is around 0.2 tons of oil equivalent, which is one of the lowest in the world. Approximately 16% of their GDP in Madagascar is from industry. In the beginning years of Madagascar, they used the slash and burn technique for farming. Now they just import and do subsistent farming. Although Madagascar's economy is essentially agricultural, much of the land is unsustainable for cultivation because of its mountainous terrain and the inadequate or irregular rainfall. Only about 5% of the land area is cultivated at any one time. Estimated at $614 million in 1992, Madagascar's major imports are manufactured products, capital goods, petroleum, consumer goods, and food. The main suppliers for Madagascar are France, Japan, and Germany. Madagascar's main agricultural exports are coffee, vanilla beans, and shellfish. Also, they export cotton textiles. Morangli is a weaponless, bare-fisted, striking style of traditional martial art that has become popularized through Madagascar, but particularly in coastal regions, and has spread to neighboring Indian Ocean islands. Participation in this form of combat was originally limited to young men, allowing elders to judge their physical fitness and strength while providing an opportunity for the youth to test their abilities. Today, while the average age of participation is still between 10 and 35, young people of both genders may participate in the sport. Participants are widely respected and even feared by fellow villagers. The culture of Madagascar reflects the origin of the Malagasy people in Southeast Asia and East Africa. The influence of Arabs, Indians, British, French, and Chinese settlers are also evident. There are two main languages in Madagascar, Malagasy and French. Although exact figures on religious affiliations do not exist, it is estimated that approximately 55% of the total population adhere to traditional beliefs, aka folk culture, and 40% are Christian, about evenly divided between Roman Catholics and Protestant. The remaining 5% are Muslim. Roma Zava is considered the national dish of Madagascar, and each family makes it their own way. It is a one-pot dish, usually eaten with rice for lunch or dinner. The basic ingredients are beef, pork, and chicken. 
cut into equal sized cubes, chopped onions, tomatoes, spinach, and crushed garlic. These are Madagascar's top three cities with a population of 270,000, 240,000, and 120,000. For Madagascar to improve, they should make sure that their government is stable and free of corruption. They should also make sure that their infrastructure is stable and improved so that they can make sure that any of their exports like coffee, vanilla, co cotton textiles, and shellfish are easy to export and trade. Madagascar was once a large trading port because they are in between India and Africa, so they could trade easily in between both of them. Now, not so much, but if they become another trading port with maybe Asia and Africa or Africa and India, then they could become more popular and get more money from more exports.